uh, which is going to be pretty pretty exciting to see because it's the first city that we're going to be seeing in Britain. Um, so, Ralph, Ben, thank you for coming back as well. Hi. Uh, who, who did you have back? <laughs> I, like I said earlier, uh, the, the, the dinosaurs. Um, who, I believe one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're, yeah, yeah, right? You know, they're like just we're just pretty exciting let's, stuff, isn't it? Let's just move sweetly on, right? We, we we were wrong. Andy's just come back with a big grin on his face as well. It's like yes, yes, we won. <laughs> um, but Edinburgh. So we, uh, how are we going to get to Edinburgh? We're going to drive, uh, Benny. We're going to. Really? We're not going to fly. <laughs> we're going to drive right the way to Edinburgh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, we thought we'd save this for last, uh, just out of badness, I think, actually, because people have been really excited about seeing it through these streams. Um, and it is really cool. It, it's, a, it's a super cool city. I think it's the best city we've done uh, in a Horizon game. Um, this isn't it, actually. This is, I don't think we've shown this in the streams before. That's Banbury Castle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, we're at the coast, actually, again, which I don't think we've, we've actually seen, but there, there you go. That's, so that's Banbury Castle. There's a big old British beach over there to the, to the right. Is that actually another gameplay arena? It is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it is. Um, and if we drive up, this is sort of the the east coast of the of the world that we've built. Uh, eventually, we will get to Edinburgh. Um, and it's probably worth mentioning just you know, like why we have cities in uh, in Horizon. Um, we didn't have any cities. We had, we had a, a biggish town in one, but it really main from, town. Main, main, main town, town was what yeah. it was called. Yeah. Um, it only town. It was, yeah, it was, it was the was main town. Yeah. Um, but from two, we had we had Nice in the south, south of France. Obviously, in Horizon Three, we had Surface Paradise, um, and I, I think it's a really important component to uh, to a Horizon world now. I know a lot of people really love the experience of, of driving yeah. uh, in a city. Um, it gives you quite a different style of gameplay mm -hmm. um, from you know what. Horizons predominantly about the thrill of the open road. That's what we always kind of uh, set out to, to to achieve. But certainly, there's a really cool uh, gameplay uh, when you're you're driving around a city, particularly a city you you, you recognise. Um, and you know, Edinburgh certainly for us ticks those boxes, um, and it's really cool to have it in the game. I think I think also while we're driving up, because I know that it's been one of the biggest questions as well, is why not London? <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm a Londoner. So I'm like, why not London? Um, so London's a great city. Every, yeah. Everyone knows what a great uh, city uh, London is. It's also absolutely massive, um, and it's also like incredibly, how to put it, like unique. Mm -hmm. right? You know, when you get anywhere near central London, every building is completely different, and every building is completely iconic. Um, and really, um, the amount that would be, the amount of work, I guess, that would be involved in recreating London would mean you probably didn't have any time left over to yeah. go build the rest of the game. I think, you know, um, you know, you would, you would probably have to devote an entire game to London to do it justice. And, and also in so doing, you would probably fundamentally change. And there's Edinburgh. And you just love um, <laughs> That's a pretty, cool, Edinburgh. pretty cool way to reveal uh, Edinburgh. Um, um, yeah, and in, and in doing so, uh, you would really change what, what the game's about. You know, if, if your game was all uh, you know, street racing and, and cities, then suddenly you're making a game like Midnight Club, yeah. which are brilliant games, but not the game that we have ever set out to make or, or, or really necessarily want to make. Like I say, Horizon is about the thrill of the open road, it's about driving on the best driving roads in the world, and the fact that we can incorporate a city like Edinburgh, which is obviously smaller than London, but, but I think no less iconic, no less beautiful. Um, it fits our game really well. And talking about like, iconic locations, where was that that we just jumped from? It's iconic for you. It, 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 I mean, it's, so that, that was our Arthur Seat, which yeah. is a kind of a big rocky, rocky hill outside uh, outside Edinburgh, um, which is quite famous if you if you are living Edinburgh and, and affords great views of Edinburgh. It does, as you just saw, yeah. Um, but it's, it's, I think the other stuff that's worth talking about when it comes to Edinburgh is how cool the road network is in this yeah. in this particular urban environment in this game. So. So before, with, uh, with Surface Paradise, it was quite a modern, high-rise yeah. city, and it had that very grid-like uh, road network, which afforded a certain type of experience. I think what's great about Edinburgh is the, the roads have obviously built up over time. There's a lot of history associated with this location, and it, it creates these really interesting pieces of road network that the, the level designers have been able to leverage and create some really unique races that I, I don't think we would have been able to create in an urban environment if we were in another sort of more modern Yeah. Like, what other major like locations are there which you would say in? So in let's Denver? point out. Um, so that's the Scott Monument. So we're on Princess Street, which is the main um, 
thoroughfare uh, in Edinburgh. <laughs> The street, it's the, yeah, it's the yeah. main street in, in Edinburgh, and obviously um, it has many famous buildings on it, not least of which is obviously the castle, which uh, is just over there. And he's dri driving away from it now, which is uh, um, useful. But <laughs> he's taking the scenic route. He is. Yeah. Taking this like, nice loop. While, while we're doing this um, route, we've actually also got a question from the chat as well, from Timberwolf. Is it true there are businesses you can use to make money, or is it just another fake rumor? Especially as we're going up to Edinburgh Castle, which costs a lot of money. It does buy. cost a lot of money, and actually we revealed the answer to that question just uh, a couple of minutes ago, I think, when we drove past. Uh, one of the Horizon stories which involves a, a player business, so that is not uh, uh, a fake rumor. You can... It's not fake as, news. As, it's not fake <laughs> news. Um, <laughs> it's, um, it's real it's news. It's part of... Uh, as part of some of the Horizon stories, um, to, to you know to get into and play those stories yeah. you have to go bit by a business and the one that we just passed um, is called uh, world's fastest rentals which involves you buying um, uh, I believe a supercar sh rental business mm -hmm. is that the that's yeah um, which is obviously um, to allow you to go drive supercars um, for fun, which is kind of the point of uh, Horizon Games. And once you bought that business, uh, and as you progress that Horizon story, um, yeah, you will you will earn money from that business, and you will, you will see that you know come into your account every time you log on. Okay, and then hopefully earn enough money to buy Edinburgh Castle in the in the long run for it as well. Um, Dirk, Dirk Michaels also asked: Does surface water impact driving like ice in winter? It does, yes, as as it has done in Horizon Games since uh, since we introduced it in Horizon Two. Yes, so absolutely, um, the the physics uh, of a of a wet road is something that that we model and something that we uh, we replicate in the game. And you will feel, um, as Andy is probably now, um, that uh, you need to drive a slightly different way uh, when when the roads are wet. So um, also one of the biggest uh, changes in Horizon is day and night cycle. Mm. Like, so we, I think we're gonna head over to a race so we can kind of see Edinburgh at night. Yes, yeah, so we can do a street race, um, which Andy's gonna drive up to in a couple of seconds. And our street race thread in the game, they're all night races that um, it's appropriate time of day to be doing some street races, right? Um, and Edinburgh in particular looks really, really stunning at night. There's, um, there's a lot of work that we've done under the hood to, to um, really um, put a lot of new features into our night lighting model that we yep. haven't had before. Uh, so we're really, really proud of it, so which, is, uh, which is why we're going to be showing off in a couple of seconds. So I think um, Andy's just come around this corner here where the event start is, which is down here. Here we go. So yeah, so we actually, we did show you a little bit of night in last, was it yeah, last week's stream. Yeah. Um, but obviously Andy failing to hit a bonus board time and time <laughs> again was probably not <coughs> best. I think, they, I think they mentioned that in the chat. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was. That it's, was your, it's your time to redeem yourself. <laughs> it's redemption. Um, so yeah, so, so I saw. I, I thought it was um, only fair to show everybody um, what night looks like when when that's not happening, and also in Edinburgh where we've got lots of really cool things going on. So as I said on the previous stream, we've got um, true shadow casting light style from from the car and the environment, which is a feature for the mm -hmm. Xbox One X. Uh, we've also got. Um, all of that stuff, rendering it into the car bodies and reflecting up all the materials in, in better ways than we've ever been able to before. So you'll see all those pings coming off the metalwork. Uh, we've also got these really cool flares, which are a nice sort of, um, they're obviously our checkpoints for the race, but they also demo uh, some of the cool lighting features that are going on off of those as well. And as you can see, Edinburgh itself is just a super cool place at night. So all the shop lights have, have turned on, all the street lights, all of the up lighting on all the sort of major monuments, which is a real feature of Edinburgh. Mm. So like one, of the th one of the things you'll always see if you Google um, Edinburgh on like, you know, sort of Google search is all the cool uplit castles and monuments and things. So that's, that's something that our lighting artists have been able to have real fun with uh, this time around. It makes you really want to go and visit Edinburgh. Mm. I'm just kind of like noticing that because it's a city I've never been to and it just looks absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a beautiful place. You should totally go. I, I will. It'll be next on my trip. <laughs> uh, we've also got another question from the from the chat, uh, where Beardia Bread asks, "What's the most common weather?" Oh, most com uh, I, to be fair, I think we so we've really tried really hard to to curate a nice balanced experience for everybody. So so we've we um, tried to make sure you get a bit of everything. Um, you get you know you get overcast skies as you know some people would. 
assume would be the majority of the weather in, uh, in Britain. But as we've sort of proved over the course of these streams, you, know, you also get some really gloriously sunny days as well. Amazing we, sunsets. We, there was a, there was a, a quote by uh, the famous painter Turner who said that Britain <laughs> had uh, four skies in one sky. You're that, bringing out yeah, famous yeah, painter yeah, yeah, quote. There you go. That's what I do. Everybody loves me for it in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> especially, especially Ralph. <laughs> This is the first one I've heard. Why have we not heard these yeah. quotes earlier? Because I've been told not to do it. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Fair, fair enough, fair enough. Um, it's one of those things, though. It's, it's, I'm quite excited to see the change with the change of weather as well. It's just kind of like when we went into that cockpit view, like that kind of different reflection of the lights. Mm. Mm. Um, but that, that is the end of that race right there. And we've, we're, we're coming up. If you guys have got any questions as well, just before we kind of like wrap up the stream because it's kind of sad this is this is the end of four weeks it's like that's sort of like it's gonna like start like tearing up and kind of that moment because every single week we've had a chance to take a look at a different season different cars different parts of the world um and it, it's been it's been incredible but is there any is there any moment that's kind of really stood out for you <laughs> um many many moments <laughs> all, all uh, the uh, bugs that we've revealed to yeah, you of course as, <laughs> yeah. as ben and i sit here <laughs> It's like, why is that happening? Um, uh, no, it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's honestly, it's not been something we have ever done before. Um, so um, we've been learning as we go. Apologies for that, but um, it's been a ton of fun. It's been great to feel uh, to, to hear the feedback uh, from fans and from viewers uh, on the game. Um, it's been exciting to show uh, what we've been working on for the last yeah, couple yeah. of years. You know, because. Uh, uh, generally speaking, we you know we don't do anything between mm. between E3 and Gamescom, and, and this year we, we have. Um, so it's been a great experience. Um, thank you to everyone for watching. Um, I think from it, from everyone at Playground, um, it's been great to get the the feedback. Um, and uh, and yeah, yeah, it's been it's been good. Yeah, and importantly, when's and when are we next going to hear more and see more about Forza Horizon right. 4? So yeah, so it's only a couple of weeks to Gamescom. Man, it, it really it, it, it comes off on you, doesn't it? Um, it sneaks up, doesn't it's like... it? Um, so yeah, you, we will be at Gamescom. Uh, we will be there with the game. We will be with uh, there showing more stuff, talking about more stuff. Yeah. Um, and then after Gamescom, uh, really you're on the freight train towards towards launch. You know, so there'll be. I'm sure there will be a ton of things happening post Gamescom in the run up um, to uh, to launch, which is um, October the second. Uh, October the 2nd on Xbox One and Windows 10 uh, and also obviously on uh, Xbox Game Pass on that exact same day and if you're an Ultimate Edition uh, owner you will be able to play in early access on the 28th of September. So it's, it's not that far away now, really? really. really it's really it's like, yeah, like Inventor's got his face going, yeah, yeah, no, 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 not far at all. Um, but I, I think I'd just like to say on like behalf of the chat as well, thank you so much for showing so much of the game, so many things to look forward.